Greetings and hello to another exciting Brizzy tutorial. I'm Chris and today I'm going to show you how you can add a search bar to your Brizzy website. To work on the website I'm going to choose the tutorial page I recently created, the real estate website. You see it's still as we left it in our tutorial. We have our test object here. I'm going to click on the link. You can see the page loads and everything still looks as it was in our last tutorial. So what would we like to have right now is up here somewhere um, a search bar so people can start to search the content on our website. Um, WordPress basically has its own search engine, but um, to be honest, it's a little bit crappy. So we are going to use a plugin for that. So I'm going to plugins, add new. And here I'm going to type in Ajax Search Lite. The nice thing about Ajax Search Lite is this is a complete free um, plugin. There is a pro version, but for this tutorial, we I, I'm going to show you how you can achieve everything just with the free version. So I download it, I'm going to activate it, and on the bottom side you see Ajax Search Lite. So let's jump into the settings. You already see here is uh, real estate objects already chosen. Um, on the left side in this uh, row you have all possible um, objects this plugin can search for. You see we have our Brizzy pop-ups for example, uh, we have our Brizzy templates, we have Brizzy leads, everything. So this is very detailed. So first thing you want to do is go down this list and drag and drop. I'm going to show this right now. You see, uh, just left click, drag it over and you're done. Um, so first thing you do, go down the left list and drag every object you want to search. You want searched, able to be uh, look into this stuff. Um, everything you want indexed to the right side. Once we are done with that, let's uh, check the behavior. So exact matches only. Check that this is set to off because if it's set to on, for example, one of your visitors makes a typo, he will never find uh, your content. So make sure this one is checked off. Let's go to autocomplete and suggestions and make sure that this Google search autocomplete is turned on. Also, Google search keyword suggestions are turned on. I'm going to show you how this will affect your website. Um, you see here are some other options. I'm not jumping into everything. This is not a detailed uh, tutorial about how this plugin works. You can play around with it. Um, but what I want to show you is the layout options you have here the um, possibility to choose some themes. For example, I'm picking simply red right now. Saving. So this will be our search bar we will show on our website. Up here you see the search shortcode and this is the shortcode we need to show um, this form. So let's jump into our pages. I'm picking the home page, edit with Brizzy. And this is our header. You, just in case you haven't watched uh, the other tutorial, this is a global header. So every change I'm going to do right now here on the home page will affect every header on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this element, but we don't need the second. Um, Menu, so I'm going to delete this one, and now I'm dragging in the shortcode element, and I'm just pasting our shortcode in, and you see instantly, Brizzy already shows you how this would look. If this uh, form is a little bit too large for you, you can take this handle and just drag it over, so the form gets a little bit smaller and your menu has uh, more space to show. Or you can 
can also do is, for example, limit your uh, logo size so your menu has enough space to show. Um, another thing you can do is you can turn this from boxed to full and you see then you have plenty of space. So I keep it with boxed. Let's update because we changed something here. And this is right now how our website looked. Let's act, uh, activate it, refresh. And you see this now has the search bar. I'm going to click into it. And for example, I'm just typing D. You see he instantly suggests our demo object we created before. How's Daphne? I'm going to click on, on the result. You see he jumps instantly to our created content and it still shows our template. So everything's working exactly as we wanted. So let's jump back. I'm going to show you how this uh, look change works. I'm going back to layout options. Let's pick um, curvy blue, for example, or no, let's take this underline. I'm going to save again, refresh this page. Now you see the look completely changed, but it's still working as intended. So this is how simple and easy you can get your own search possibility, search bar into your Brizzy generated website. I hope this helps and improves your website. Till the next tutorial. Bye bye.